So, on number one, the first question you should ask, can we take anything out? Oh, 3x. 3x. What's left if we take out a 3x? Divide both terms by 3x. X minus 5. X minus 5, yeah. 3 divided by 3 goes away. X squared divided by x is x. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then the x's go away. And the 3 x squared minus 4. What's that? Can we take anything out? No. Is it a square minus a square? Yes. So what do we do? What goes in the front? X. What goes in the back? Plus 2 minus 2. Plus 2 minus 2. Number 5. Maybe I should have gone to 24 on this one, I think. Yeah. 5, 9a squared minus b squared. Can we take anything out of this? You can take nothing out. Nothing out, no. There's no numbers in this one. This one doesn't have any b's, this doesn't have any a's. Is it a square minus a square? Yes. Yes. So, what goes in the front? What multiplies into that? 3a, 3a. And then what goes into negative b squared? Negative b plus b. Negative b times positive b. Number seven, x squared minus two x minus three. Uh, let's go around the horn. Does anybody want to volunteer to start? Okay, Natalie, we'll go. No. We'll do counterclockwise. Everybody's getting one either way. All right. right. Plus, if I go that way, you might get the one at the end. Uh, so, can we take anything out, Natalie? No. Is it square minus square? No. Is it a three turn? No. Okay, what's going to go in the front? X. X is. Asian fives. I am Asian. <laughs> Are you? Are you really? Yeah. I thought your family was from like Brazil. I can't see it. I'm Brazilian and Japanese. And Japanese. How much? How much Japanese? One fourth. One fourth Brazilian, one fourth Japanese. How do you swear Chinese? <laughs> Japanese, she said. Come on. How do you swear in Asian? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. I swear in Portuguese. Do you swear in Portuguese? Okay. Hell. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> you know what the next? How we figure out the back side? Right. You remember what multiplies into 63? 7 and 9. 7 and 9, yes. And to add up to negative 2, what do we need to do to this? Right, a minus 9 would add up to this. So, 7 and minus 9. You did it. Good job. <laughs> Did you just see your problem? No, I didn't. Is it bad? No, I just heard you say, oh no, no. so I was like, oh, no. be looking ahead. Uh, it's not that bad. A squared plus 6a plus 9. Alright, Ava? Is it, can we take anything out? No. Square minus square? Yes. No. So it's three term factoring. What goes in the front? What goes in the back? Three plus three. Yeah. Three times three is nine. Three and three add up to six. So it's three and three. But guess how the book wrote this answer? A plus three squared. Yes, they did. Would I count that wrong? No. <coughs> Looks like one we've done already. Very close to one we've done already. Uh, Caleb, can I take anything out of this? Uh, no. No. Is it a square minus a square? No. Yes. Yes. Because that is something squared and that is something squared. So what's going to go in the front? C. C. And what's going to go in the back? <coughs> what 
times what equals negative? Oh, three. Negative nine, yeah. Three and negative two. And then what times what equals d squared? D. D. So it'll be plus. plus 3d and minus 3d. Okay. Thirteen. Oh, shoot, they snuck one in there on me. Is that the only one like that? There's an odd, too. Where? Or even, I mean. Twelve. Number 12. I'm not seeing it. Twelve and thirteen. Okay, so, well, it's not hard, but I didn't realize they put one of these in here. Uh, so on twelve, just copy what I'm about to do on thirteen. Um, so what you do, I don't know why they did put that in there. It's like the only one on the entire page. Did they put it on the previous lesson? No. There's no. Okay, anyway, what you do is you take the outside stuff. You guys listening? Take the outside stuff, put it in the first parentheses. So what do I mean by the outside stuff? Distribute. Uh, no, no, don't distribute. We're doing the opposite of distribute. We're breaking it apart. The outside stuff is y plus 2. You guys see where I got that from on 13? So now y plus 2 is going to go in one parentheses, and then the inside stuff is going to go in the other parentheses. So the inside stuff is y minus 1. All right, and number 12 was like that. I don't know why they put that, those two in there, but... Wait, what? Because you kind of need a whole lesson. I put the outside stuff in one parentheses, I put the inside stuff in the other. But there's three parentheses. There's two parentheses, two parentheses, and they're the same thing, and I just put them right there. So do you not need to square that? No. It's because this is like y times both of those, and it's like 2 times both of those. So you only need to put it once. It just, it just works. It works. Number 15, 2x squared minus 11 Oh. Okay, Kyle, can we take anything out of this one? No. Okay, the reason it's a no is because they don't all have an X. Or an X. And like, the only thing that goes into 2 is like 2, but 2 doesn't go into these. So, no, nothing comes out of all those. Um, so it's, it's not a square minus a square, it's, it's three terms, so it's be like this and Kyle what goes into <coughs> 2x squared? <coughs> Is it 2x? Yes. So that's going to go on the front and for the back the question is what goes into negative 13? There's only one there's really only a couple, one or two options, but what? What multiply? No, multiply. What multiply is in the next question? There's only one thing that really works. What 13 to? 13 and 1. Okay, but because it's a negative 13, we've got to make a, one of those negative. And we're just guessing, so. Now, okay, here's the thing. It could be like 13 and minus one, or it could be like minus one and 13. We don't really know right now, but how do we figure out if it's right or not? No, or you foil, but you only have to do the outside inside of the foil and see if it equals this middle term. Why is this problem so much different than the last three, number nine? Because it has a two on the front. Because it has a number on the front. Makes it trickier. Okay, so right now, as I've written it, the outside, 2x times 13, is 26x. And the inside is minus 1x. Which would give us 25x, which is not what we want. So, we should try 13 and 1. Now, the 
the outside is minus 2x, the inside is 13x, and that adds up to 11x. Is 11x what we wanted? Negative. Almost. We wanted negative 11x. So if we got the right number but the wrong sign, we need to switch the signs. So the minus needs to be a plus, and the plus needs to be a minus. Kind of the same deal on this one. Uh, does anything come out? No. Oh, yes, yeah, seven. Wait, are you on 17? Am I on 17? Oh, no, I was looking at 20. I don't know. Okay, does anything come out on 17? <clears throat> no. The only thing that goes into 5 is 5, and that doesn't go into those. And there's not an A or anything in all of them. So no, it's just kind of like the last one. one. Just did. All right, Xander, it's gonna go in the front. Five A. Yeah, that's like the only option, which is nice because we don't have to worry about fixing that part. In the back, there's a few things. There's actually quite a few things going to seventy-two. I would start with the one that's in the times tables or the one that uses used most often. I would guess 9 and 8. I haven't looked at the answer or thought about it yet, though. Um, but because it's a negative 72, one of them has to be negative, so you just make that up. Which one do you want to be negative? Okay, so we'll try 9 and minus 8. Now the outside is minus 40a, and the inside is plus 9a. That adds up to negative 31. Let's see if it works the other way. Now the outside is 45a, and the inside is minus 8a, yeah. and that makes that does make 37a. So is that right? No. Not quite. We got the right number, which is good. So we just need to switch the plus and minus again. Now it's all here. It's like 3 times 9. Do 3 or 9 go into 8 though? No. So, no, I don't think anything's going to come out. So it's kind of like the last ones. Unfortunately, unlike the last ones, the number on the front has a couple options. So, Reagan, what could go into the front? Okay, for our book, I'll give you a hint. It, they usually choose like the ones in the middle, four and two, instead of the one and eight. I could be wrong, sometimes that happens, but I would try the four and two first. Now, I haven't looked at the answer yet, or thought about it yet. Okay, and what goes, for the back, what goes into negative 27? Actually, you're right. How'd you know that? You're working ahead on me. Okay, 
the outside is minus 36, the inside is plus 6, and that does equal negative 30, which is what we wanted, so we got it right. one. What's different about the B section? Um, not much except for you can take something out first and then factor again I think that's basically the only difference. Uh, so on 21 Brianna what do you think we can take out of both of those? Not a lot of options here. What do you think comes out of both of those? Huh? Well, six does go into that one, but does six go into three? No. So what does go into both of them? There's only one thing that goes into three, right? Three itself. So if anything comes out, it has to be three. Do you guys remember the threes trick? Uh, if these add up to like one plus zero plus eight is nine, and three goes into nine, then three is going to go into that. Anyway, so we're going to take a 3 out. Uh, 108 divided by 3, I think it's 36. Um, okay, well, Brianna, what can we do with this guy right here? Just leave the three, don't throw the three away, just leave it in the front. See, that wasn't so bad. 